These are all the rest of my friends that I brought with me today. I work with Braz World Reptiles and one of the big things that we do is educational programs and educational exhibits uh, to teach people a little bit about reptiles and snakes because they're usually pretty misunderstood animals and, and coming to the High Desert Museum seemed like a great idea. It was their idea. They decided to uh, hire us to come do these uh, spring break programs for them. Have, have something a little extra for family and their kids to come see. Something cool to handle and interact with. Okay, now when you're holding the snakes, please do not grab them by either the head or the tail. We don't want to grab either end of the snake. We want to hold them by their bodies. All of our snakes have been raised in captivity, so they're very accustomed to being handled by people. Uh, and the only reason they would have to bite is if someone started to harm them, if uh, they were hurting the snake, stepping on them, squeezing them, shaking them around. But as long as everyone has been, you know, really nice to them, then no, they, they don't bite. It feels very different. It, it, it kind of catches me off guard when he... When, it's, when he moves and his scales on my neck flare up, that feels kind of different. Yeah, do you like that? Is that the snake? Can you say? Uh, it's been a wide range of reactions. A lot of people already really like snakes. They think they're really cool. They want to get the opportunity to touch them and handle them. There's also people who are a little timid and scared. They don't really want to go too close to them. Uh, I'm always hopeful that by the end they'll get up the courage to at least touch one of the snakes because they are very cool animals and people shouldn't be afraid of them as much as they are sometimes. We're going to stretch him out. Okay. So this is, this is my Burmese python. His name is Emo. He's a very big snake. He's big. Look at that.